Hey everybody, it's JC with JC's Adventures. I'm here as always at Worldwide RV in Mesa, Arizona. Today we're gonna to show you the 2023 Jayco Whitehawk 29BH, which stands for Bunkhouse. Now again, I went through the Whitehawks before. I will go through some of the differences today. The 29BH is a bunkhouse model, which we'll go into in a minute, but first I wanna go over the outside. As you can see, you have two different types of steps. This one goes into the bedroom, which is the fold up, which is what you're used to. And of course, here you have the step above, which folds up into the unit to keep it separated. This is a true four season trailer in the aspect from zero to 100 degrees. It's gonna maintain a constant 70 degrees inside. It does have the 120 volt pads on the tanks. Now this is important because most of the manufacturers out there are using 12 volt. It sounds great, but what we found through our engineering and our department, our department of Q&A, is research, excuse me, research and development, that the 120s are keeping everything warm. The 12 volts simply don't do it. When they hit a certain degree, those things are freezing up. So again, Jayco does test everything out in our R&D department to make sure you're getting the best. Now, we'll take a look at the front. You have two 30 pound propanes. As always with the White Hawk, you have the automa automotive windshield for the window. That is the G20 tinting on all the windows. Now the G20 tinting is important because that's keeping sunlight out of the coach. You're not getting the sun bleach and you're also not getting that heat radiating in directly through the windows. The diamond plate, this is metal. This is actually designed to keep rock chips out from underneath. And again, you have that integrated A-frame. That integrated A-frame goes into the chassis, giving you more stability. On top of that, we have our outriggers every 16 inches and more cross members throughout. Now remember with Jayco, every single chassis is built for the floor plan. We don't use one chassis throughout. When we contact our manufacturer, we're like, okay, this is what we need for this floor plan. So the chassis underneath here, this 29BH, is not the same as the 25 or the 22. So again, it's important for you guys to understand, we really do things a better level. Now, we have our power tongue, and then right through here is your solar on the side. And then these are pre-wired for side and rear view cameras. They do have magnets up onto the, on, I'll show you on this side. So when you're lifting up these areas, instead of those old hooks that you used to have, you simply pull this up, press it down, and now you're there. These are slam latches. So when you're going to put it away, boom, you just shut it in. So as you look through, again, you have the finished basement. There is your J griddle, but look how much room and space you actually have. And again, everything is done to make sure you guys have the best for what you want to do. You'll hear me say that a lot, and it's specifically because it's true. All of our walls are on the vacuum bonded. We put inside of that, um, inside of the sleeve, drop it down under 144 ton press and keep it for 16, 18 minutes. And as you look underneath, you're gonna notice that it is a sealed underbelly. So if you wanna take a look under there and kind of show them exactly what we are talking about. So that way you can't get through to anything. You do have access panels to go throughout. Now, all of our axles are based either LCI or Dexter. The most important part for the axles is specifically they have never adjust brakes. Now we're gonna start down at this end. You have the outside kitchen. Again, you have drawers, a sink. This is a drop sink, so this doesn't affect your gray tank, but it does hook up to your fresh water. The J port is where you put that the griddle stanchion in. So this entire area becomes your outside kitchen. And as you can see, you have a full awning all the way down. So this entire area will be protected. So if you are where it's raining or something like that, or you just like to be outside, because typically that's why you're camping, you have that availability. Now, we do have the marine grade speakers. And so what that means, same as a boat, these things can get wet and you don't have to worry about it. This right here, this is nice because this is your on-demand water heater. And again, that's a 60,000 BTU. When you're looking at the other manufacturers, typically they're using 42,000. Well, simply from a degree perspective, your average groundwater is 54. So if I'm adding 42 degrees to that, I'm at 96 and your body temperature is 98.6. If I'm adding 60 to 54, I'm at 114. Now think about it, now I can take a hot shower for as long as I want. If I'm hooked up or as long as the water is gonna remain if I'm boondocking. And again, through back here, you do have the ladder available. As I've always talked about, you guys, we have a Magnum Trust roof system that can withstand 4,500 pounds. And that's why you have that curved area that you see right there, because it's the same as an airplane wing. 
We use brackets on both sides to, um, for nail brackets, again, for that to give it that heavier, heavier weight. Other manufacturers have the ability to do this, but typically they're trying to cut costs. Jayco doesn't do that because they want to make sure that you have a trailer that you can keep for as long as you want to keep it. Also, once those walls are done, then we cut out the doors and the windows to make sure that they're going to fit and they have a nice setting. Again, every single wall that we have is tested from that window cutting. And if it doesn't pass our inspection, they're going to chuck it out. Now, what's nice about this one is this is a back door that goes into the bunk area. So when you're traveling, you can use this for storage. And as you can see, that's long enough. You could put kayaks in, you could put bicycles in, depending on how big the bike is, because you have those handlebars I ride. So that's how I know. And again, full size spare tire and our reverse lights are actually built into it. Something you don't see on all the manufacturers. Now we're gonna take a look at the inside and really show you what makes this thing so nice. Come on in. And again, they all have a screen door. The 29BH has a dry weight of 7,500 pounds. So you're definitely gonna need a three quarter ton in order to tow this, because you're gonna be about 10,000 pounds gross weight. Again, you guys, if people don't tell you this, don't travel with water on the highway. You're simply wasting that because that's weight that you don't need. Get closer to where you're going and then bring in your water. Now, what's, you have 55 gallons of fresh water in this, and then you have, I'm gonna cheat, you have 61 of gray, 30 of black. So again, plenty of water capacity in which to do it. As you're looking around, this is the modern farmhouse. And notice how light everything is. I'll even shut this to kind of let you see with these lighted cabinets across from the dark, it gives you depth. And the whole thing is, this is something that you could full-time RV in. If you just want to use it for camping and you want something a little bit nicer, you can. I was showing you the bunks here. Again, you have the curtain area slide, the four inch high density foam teddy bear mattress on both sides. This one, the bunk will actually come up. Both of these bunks will hold 600 pounds. You do have the ladder already built in, it will hold 500 pounds. As you come through here, take a look at the bathroom. That is a porcelain based toilet. Again, full size shower. And I'll step in there to kind of give you an idea of height. I'm only 5'8 with shoes. And as you can see, I could be easily 6'3, six, 6'4 six, and stand in here with no problem. Again, no particle border OSB whatsoever. You have a full size medicine cabinet. If you want to come in and take a look at this. Now the sink is in the bathroom. That's one of those things that people actually talk to me about because in some of the manufacturers, they'll put the sink outside. We do have some of our lower brands that have that separation to maximize space. But notice how wide this is. You don't have to worry about having room. Now, as you come around here, I'm gonna have you turn around. This is our J command system. This is your water heater and then your light controls. So this specifically, the J command system is designed to do all of your lighting, your air conditioning, your slides, your awning, everything is controlled right here. What makes that nice is you can sync that up to your phone. And as long as you're Bluetooth, you can do everything from the comfort of your phone. So again, you can control everything in the unit. As you look over here, here's your pan uh, pantry area. So take a look at how deep that is. So again, you can have plenty of room to store your goods as you're going through. Now, one of the things I really like about this particular model is the U-shaped dinette and this table moves. So if you're bigger, you have plenty of room, you can get in here. But the other aspect is if you're with the whole family, you're with your kids, you can play cards, you can play games, everything is controlled. Again, four inch high density foam and this material is made specifically to keep from sun rot to keep from scratching and, and ripping, I should say. But this can lay out into a full size bed. So if you're taking an entire family, think about how much room you have, because again, to kind of show you, I'm not gonna put the table down, but I'm short and I've got room here on both sides to give me that area. So if you're six foot tall, you could lay into this and it's more like a twin size bed. Again, roller shades, these are full blackout. So if you wanna keep the sun out, you have that availability. If you don't, you don't. Notice the better lighting fixtures because this is, again, to give you a sense of elegance as you come through. Now, this table, you could take outside as well. That's what's nice is it gives you that freedom. 
but take a look here at how big the kitchen area really is. Again, you guys, you can move this around. You have the cutting board, you have the drying rack, you have this, the, um, where you can adjust these through because you're, you're looking out, you wanna make sure you see what's going on in the campsites. The other thing is, look how big the windows are. So if you're out camping, you can actually get to see what's going on out there. And again, with that G20 tent, you don't have to worry about this area heating up. The skylight does not have G20 tent. So this, they built in, if you want to keep the sun out, if it's getting a little warm, you can. It is a 50 amp unit, so you can't, it'll have two ACs or one, and you can add a second. Now, take a look at how big this area is. Again, as always, you guys, this will fit dinner plates. You could do a lot of storage here. And then here, there's two screw holes because these are screwed together. You literally can pull on these, and, and some of the old manufacturing, um, when they went through, they would actually hang on them. When they're building these, they put the chassis down, they put everything through, and then they put the cabinets in and fit everything through as they're running the electronics and they're running the wiring to make sure that it's the best build for what you're looking for. As you can see, as always, the three burner stove with the backsplash. Here now, something new they've added. This is a, a knife rack, so you can put your knives in there. Again, you have your microwave, your Furion vent system, and of course, a small oven. And you guys think about it, when you're out camping, you want room to socialize. The only time you're really gonna come into here is when you're either sleeping or when you're eating or when the weather outside's bad. But if the weather outside's bad, you wanna make sure that you have the room to enjoy yourself if you're with a family. This unit is for the family. This is not for a couple to go out. It's for the couple to go and where their grandkids are coming or their kids are coming, you wanna enjoy that. Now, LED lighting throughout, I've talked about this in other videos, but again, because there's no OSB or particle board, these are on a roller bearing. These drawers will hold 75 pounds each. So you can load this up pretty well for what you need. And as you can see, they try to maximize storage at every level. And as you come through, pots, pans, whatever it is that you need to add. As we come around, something you're seeing a lot more of, Jayco is going to a 12 volt refrigerator pretty much mainly. Um, you will see the propane and electric, but not as much. Why is specific. First of all, notice how big it is, and the freezer especially. Um, it's one of the things that people point out to me all the time. The reason the 12 volts are so nice is they, they cool off in about three hours. They're gonna hold more room, and they'll go three days on a battery charge. All of our units do come with the 190 solar, so that gives you an indefinite amount of, of area to keep your refrigerator cool. And again, it's running off your battery. So you don't have to worry about anything else for that. You do have the bigger um, size TV, your stereo, which is gonna work inside and out. And of course your fireplace. Your fireplace is nice because now I can heat up this area without actually turning on my heater. Now, again, you guys, one of the biggest things with Jayco is our warranty, as you see here, at two plus three. It's two full years bumper to hitch on everything in this unit. That's giving you 730 days of actual camping. So let's say you go out, you go for a full camping, you're going out for a full camping cycle, you come back, you put it away, then you go back out. Well, if something's wrong, you're gonna be covered under Jayco. Every other manufacturer is one year. And I don't talk bad about anybody else, they're just not made the way Jayco is, including like these trim pieces. This is all wood. I've been in some where this stuff will start to pop up. Look at our crown molding. The crown molding, again, to give you guys a good seal so you're not getting those seams that are coming apart. Even these separation and panels, this area right here is like an H, right? So it allows these panels to hook in so you have a set seam. The air conditioning is ducted throughout the entire unit. And of course, again, to maximize your space, you have sliding glass doors. So you don't have to worry about opening and closing a door. You have the two recliners. Now these, by the way, patent pending from Jayco will pull out. So if you don't need it, you don't have to use it. And you can simply come here, relax, pull out your feet and just chill out. And these are ridiculously comfortable, by the way. I don't know if you've been in a lot of different units, but if you haven't taken a look at it or sat down in a Jayco, you're shortcutting yourself because they really are more comfortable than a lot, of, a lot of the other ones I've been in. This particular unit has a king size bed. The king size bed gives you a little smaller um, side closet, I guess, for lack of a better term. 
you can either hang there or you have the shelves. One of the neatest things in this particular unit, again, this is the 29BH, pretty done, is you have your own area. You can do makeup here, you have the drawers. So again, if, if you have some, if somebody who really likes to have their own space, we know who that is, there you have it. It is already pre-done for a TV mount here and then your connections here. Again, this particular unit has one AC, but it is a 50 amp, so you can add a second AC directly here. So that way you can keep everything cool depending on where you're going. You have the blackout shade on the window and then the two night lights. Last but not least in here, storage. Storage, storage, and storage. And this is something I really want you to pay attention to. Look how thick that plywood is, you guys. Again, everything is based on making sure that this is going to last you a long time. And it's well built. Typically, when you look under the bed, that's where you're going to see the OSB. Our flooring, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood with the laminate above it. 3 8 tongue and groove above us. Again, you guys, this is the 2023 Jayco 29BH. If you're looking for a great, well-built, long-term family trailer, you're simply not going to beat the Whitehawk. Again, we have several makes. We have several different floor plans. You take care.